your girl Cindy. Welcome or welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another vlog. I know you guys are probably like, whoa, girl, you look different. So I decided to put this wig on. It's a curly wig. I think it's 16, 14 or 16 inch. I have a YouTube video already, so I'll link that for you guys in the iCards because I have a video installing it and everything. And um, I'll just link that for you guys because I don't remember the name or anything. I've had this thing for like two years. But I decided to wear it today because I'm feeling very spring and I just wanted a little a little change um for a bit so I decided to wear that but I'm heading out to dinner with Armani and Sherilyn I'm gonna do a little little dinner and who knows where it'll take us after so before I leave I'm gonna share with you guys my outfit fragrance of the day so for tonight my outfit is this beautiful striped set that I got from a mango I have this little bralette from H&M underneath and I'm wearing the Zara shoes and um, this green Zara bag. I figured a little pop of color would be a nice um, contrast to wear. And lately, I've been loving sets. So when I saw this, I was like, this is, this is coming home with me. I ordered it online. So I was like, I have to get this. So this is what I'm wearing. Um, I will say I got an extra small. It's a little short, um, just FYI. And I have to get the waist taken in because it's too big for me. And that's the issue I tend to have with most mostly anything that I get, um, but I don't have the time to do that tonight, so I'm just gonna wear it as is. I'm mostly gonna be sitting down anyway, so I think it'll be fine. And then I wanted to try something different today for fragrance. You guys know I love patchouli if you watch my fragrance videos. So I saw the Florida patchouli from Zara. I really liked it, so I picked it up. And tonight I was like, you know, I'm gonna try mixing that with the Becca Rouge Sinks and Calent and just see like what it smells like. I don't know what it's gonna smell like. It may just be a total fail and that's fine. I just wanted to try it out. So we'll see how it turns out tonight. Um, but that's basically it. I'm gonna try to squeeze in a photo before I meet with the ladies. So I will see you guys later tonight. Hey guys, I'm just waiting for Armani. So I decided to take a few photos, a few selfies because golden hour right now, lately, the shots have been amazing like last week you guys saw my thumbnail when I had the red suit uh, the red blazer dress the Sun was just giving so I was like I had to take a photo so I took one really quickly I don't know it's okay cuz like it's mostly just like up here I try to get a full body shot but um, I didn't like So we're going to go to the, I think it's called the Bushkri, the bakery that's in the Post Oak Hotel. I might be saying that wrong, but um, I think that's what it's called. I'm going to look it up now because I can't be going to a place and not know how to pronounce it. So it's called Bushi, I think it's the Bushi, Pati, Bushi Patisserie. <laughs> try saying that five times bushy patisserie so it's a pastry um in the post oak hotel i've always wanted to go i think actually i went once um but it was like a really quick meeting so today we're gonna go there um i'm probably not gonna vlog i say this all the time but then i might just end up vlogging but for real though i think if anything i might just get like pictures of like whatever i order um and maybe like a little video probably not because i don't like to vlog when i meet um new people like brand new people who i've never really connected with and 
um, who may not actually want to like be on social media like that. So I probably won't vlog. Um, and also I just like want to, want to make sure that things start off on the right foot. I don't want like them to think that I'm only hanging out because I want to get content or whatever. Cause I generally, I want to make some genuine friends, of course. And I feel like I have been making some good friends, but I'm like, does it hurt to make a couple more? And, um, you never know. I feel like it's always good meeting people, meeting connections because you learn new things each time and you want to grow your network because you never know like what opportunities or doors this new friendship might bring. But I'm excited. Um, I think what I'm going to end up wearing is this uh, pleated skirt and um, a matching top. They're both from H&M. I think it's gonna be really cute. I was thinking of like putting this into a bun and putting this cute scarf around it, like a little little twilly, because I'm wearing these pink shoes from Zara and I figured it would match, but I don't know yet, because I might just want to leave it down. I ended up sleeping with this last night because, uh, one second guys, I need to wash my beauty blender. I ended up, you guys probably can't hear me. Let me just wash my beauty blender real quick. Yeah, so I ended up sleeping with this wig last night on because I didn't feel like having to kind of like reinstall it this morning, um, especially since we're getting, we're meeting up around 10 and it's almost nine now. So I'm basically just gonna like have to hurry and get ready. So I ended up sleeping, up, sleeping in it because I just wanted it to make it easier in the morning. But when I get back home, I'm gonna take it off because <laughs> it's time to let it go. I don't like to sleep with my wigs unless I'm on vacation. So that's why. And um, I feel like I was gonna say something else. Oh yeah, so last night when I tried that fragrance combination, I don't know. I mean, I just took a shower. I can't smell it anymore. But like, I don't know if like I smelled it too much. Whenever I wear the Baccarat Rouge, I never smell it on me. It's people who tell me that they smell it on me. So I only could smell the patchouli um, fragrance from Zara. I couldn't really smell the Baccarat. So I don't know how it came out. I don't know, guys. Because I think if it smelled if it smelled bad, maybe I would have noticed. So maybe it smelled good. I don't know. I just decided to try something different. Um, just because, like, I love the background, but I feel like every time I go somewhere, it's so funny. It's like this running joke with me, our, me and Armani. We're like, every time we go somewhere, we're like, we should take a shot. Every time we smell Baccarat Rouge because so many people wear it. I mean, it smells good. Like, I, I, I know why. It definitely smells so good. But I'm like, ah, I'm going to start mixing mine again. Just, just to try a little something, a little something different. It may be a, a hit, it may be a miss, I don't know. To have fun and experiment. Um, so that's basically that. And then last night, I really didn't get a picture that I liked too much. Like I got a couple that were decent, but I'm just like, I don't know if I really like how they came out. And so part of me is like, maybe I should try and take some pictures today. But I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to have the energy after we like have coffee because um, today is Saturday and I do want to catch up on my like weekly reset. So I need to get a few groceries, not much, um, just a couple of groceries to uh, make, you know, my meal prepping throughout the week because I am going back to meal prepping because I find that it's easier when it comes time for me to um, eat my meals. Like even though I work from home, I want to have my meals ready so that I'm not like, Oh my god, what am I gonna make today? And I've been making the menu every week, but I just find that having things a little bit more prepared makes it easier for me so that I don't spend too much time cooking. So I am gonna figure out what I'm gonna eat this week. I might do a little bit of meal prepping, uh, meal planning, not too much because my taste buds change and then I will um, not wanna eat the same things after like two or three times. So, I probably will um, just like meal prep for like two days and then another two days. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna make that um, TikTok salmon bowl tonight. 
that recipe that like everybody has made already on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok, but it looks good and I do love salmon. So I was like, okay, I have all the ingredients except for a few things. So I'm like, I'm gonna make it tonight. Um, so I'll definitely record that. And then I sold my Soul Kate's um, this week on Depop, which I'm excited about because you guys know I've been looking to sell my Soul Kate's because I need I want to get something a little bit shorter and a little bit more comfortable. Um, I have the Jumping 100 in the nude, so I just sold the nude one. So I'm like, okay, maybe I don't need to get another nude pump, but I do want a simple nude pump. So I don't know. I'm just gonna like um, leave the funds there for now until I'm ready to decide what I want to get because I don't want to get something and then later on I'm like oh dang I need to sell it because I don't like it um I do need to update my depot because there's a lot of things that I want to sell like I'm thinking about selling my pillow tabby um not because I don't like it because I do really like the pillow tabby bag but I want the pillow tabby 18. I feel like the 26 is just too big for me for my like petite frame and I feel like the bag just takes over. So I'm thinking about selling the Pillow Tabby 26 to get the Pillow Tabby 18. That's still a thought because I'm like once I get into spring and summer and start wearing it again, I might change my mind. So it's still a thought at the moment, but we shall see. Um, and then I just had some like trench coats that i'm selling on there some blazers and i think like a few other things everything else i'm pretty much gonna donate but they're just some things that are like new with the tag on and i'm like somebody else could get a good use out of it so have a few things so if you're interested check out my depop see if you find anything you like um and then what else? I feel like doing a mini like get ready with me, chat with me because I haven't done one in a while. And um, I always like wanna do them, but the problem is like I'd have to set up my room and I typically do my makeup in the bathroom because it's just much easier that way. And I don't really do that much. Like today I'm probably not gonna do too much. I'm probably gonna like keep it simple. I might do a red lip though, I don't know because my outfit is all neutral. So maybe I'll do a red lip. We'll see like once I start putting everything else together. So guys, it's now two years since I started my YouTube journey. Uh, March 21st of 2020 was the day that I posted my first ever YouTube video. And now we're two years in guys, can you believe it? Um, I still can't believe it. I'm like, wow, I've been on YouTube for two years. I've had like 160 videos. I'm like, wow, like, okay, girl, that's consistency. Um, so I'm excited. And then it's going to be a year since I've been living in Houston. It's going to be a year. <laughs> it's been a year since I've had my car. Um, so I actually wanted to ask you guys because I had a couple people at DM me wanting to see a car tour because I never officially did a car tour when I got my car. And I mean, although it's a year later, would you guys like to see a car tour? And, um, and basically see like the features of the Audi Q3. Um, and then I, I did have a couple people ask me like what car I drive. I have an Audi Q3. I got it last year, so I did have a video. Um, it's in a vlog, it's in a weekly vlog when I went to go pick it up. So yeah, let me know if you guys wanna see that. I'm always, like at first I didn't wanna do it cause I was like, like I didn't realize <laughs> that. I just thought it was like, eh, okay, well like yes, it's a big accomplishment. I'm excited, I love my car. And I guess to me, I was like, I don't know if I should like show that um like a complete car tour and then also i was like i don't like i'm not that like into i'm into cars but i don't know all the features and everything like to this day i feel like i'm still learning new things about my car all the time like i remember when i was living back in boston i had like the 
I think it's called like lane departure or something. And I didn't know what it was. I was just like turning things on while I was on the highway. I was like, mm, I got time. I think I was going to, I think I was going to like Lowell or somewhere, but it was like a 40, it was like an hour drive actually. And I was like, I'm just going to try things. And I was on this one freeway for a long time. And I remember I tried that and I think I like got distracted and I was like getting on the other lane. I was like crossing lanes and my car beeped and then it turned the steering wheel for me. And I was like, oh, wow, that is so cool. Like it didn't turn it all the way, just kind of like tilt it over to straighten me out. And I was like, what in the robotics is this? Like, this is so cool. And I just felt like it was cool to me. I'm sure like it's probably not that new of a future, but considering I had a 2006 Honda Civic Coupe, it didn't have all that technology. And I was just like, so blown. I was like, this is cool. So yeah, um, I'm trying to see, I'm very chatty today. So I'm trying to see what else has been going on. What else is new with me? Um, I did launch my Patreon channel. I had uh, a lot of people ask me questions when I launched. So I'm gonna do a full video, but basically I've been getting a lot of DMs. I've been getting a lot of comments, a lot of people wanting to know how to edit and know how to like record and how I do it. And they really enjoy my content and they wanted to see stuff like that. But I wanted to keep my, you know, beautifully Cindy separate from any type of like tutorial based um, content because I don't know I don't want to like blend the two together because I don't want to bring people over who only are looking for tutorials and I'm only gonna do that once in a while so I decided to kind of like you know do that on patreon and I feel like um, I've been seeing like a lot of other creators get those questions as well and I don't know if it's just like an influx of new creators um, or just people wanting to, you know, step up their quality in their game, which is which makes sense. But it just felt like, you know, that was something that was needed. Um, more kind of like content creation tips and uh, cameras and gear and how to use this and how to edit that. Like what apps to use. Oh my God, my eyebrows are looking crazy today. It's probably because my face is a little bit more on the oily side. So, yeah, my brows looking crazy. So yeah, I decided like that would be a great place for me to do that. I have a lot of great content that I need to edit this weekend um, to upload. So like I have a how I record a reel on my phone and edit it and I actually learned really cool new technique. Um, because you guys know when you upload things on Instagram, it seems like the quality excuse me, it seems like the quality just isn't that great anymore. And I don't know why that is, but I found a new trick. So my last couple of reels, I used that trick and my the quality has been crisp and clear. And mind you, like these are clips that are recorded on my iPhone and not my camera. So I'm like, okay, this is cool. So I'm gonna be dropping that on Patreon next week. Um, sharing that and then I am gonna be hosting a like live tutorial session so that's gonna be fun I'm excited about that I'm planning that right now I'm doing my research to just to make sure that I come prepared and I have my questions kind of ready for you guys so I'm excited about that and yeah just a lot of fun stuff going on this week I didn't vlog because I decided to rest a little bit um, so I was still, you know, catching up on my edits and emails and, but I decided I was just going to take a, a chill week because last week I was so much on a high. You guys saw me on Instagram and just all the content that I've been putting out. Actually, my last weekly vlog, I was on this high. I had so much energy and, uh, I think this week it caught up to me. So I needed to, I was starting to crash a little bit. So I was like, I'm going to take it easy this week and pick it back up next week. Um, so that's why like this, there's really like no weekly vlog. It's more just gonna be like a chill weekend vlog. And it's probably gonna be shorter than usual um, just because I haven't been doing too, too much. 
and I need to edit a lot of videos when I get back. So I have a, a spring uh, closet organization, clear uh, declutter, along with a pantry declutter and organize um, organization and my spices and coffee and tea. So I kind of um, have that going on. I still need to finish editing my wash and go routine that's going to be coming up and i feel like i have another video for you guys oh i haven't recorded it yet oops i'm getting makeup on me i haven't recorded it yet but i am going to be recording a zara h&m mango haul um i probably will do like h&m and mango or like zara and mango because i only got like four things from mango and then um, probably gonna do H and M separate because I think I got more things from H and M. Did I? Or maybe it's just about the same. I just like want to break it up because I think I could probably make it into two to three videos at least. Um, so I think I'm gonna break it up that way to give you guys more content and more styling. And then I I have so many like ideas. <laughs> I have like this. Um, how I organize my videos I organize them in notion and so I have so many like these are ideas these are in scripting mode these are in research mode these are published and I just need to execute them I have another video that's coming up soon it's gonna be a little bit different than my other content and then I just have a bunch of sit down videos that I need to do for you guys like how I paid off eleven thousand dollars of debt in eight months um, what to do before you quit your job and what I've learned um what else a budgeting type of video because i actually need to redo my budget right now because your girl has been spending too much money on unnecessary things and so i'm going to be giving myself a new budget starting probably yeah starting april so soon i'm going to be giving myself a new budget so i'm going to go through that i'm going to go through my finances i'm also going to be working on a new um strategy so i have a lot a lot of things I need to do I just need to set the time on and I realize it, it's it can be a lot trying to juggle YouTube Instagram TikTok Twitter Pinterest the blog oh my gosh it's a lot of you know work and I need to find a good balance between them all because right now it's like one week YouTube focused, the next week Instagram focused and so I need to find a good little, good little balance um, between these. So that's kind of like what I'm working on. And yeah, so I'm gonna finish my makeup. I'll come back on to show you guys my outfit because it's already 9.15 and I wanna leave here in about 10 minutes. Um, so I'll come back, let you guys see the full, full makeup look, but I'm in outfit because I uh, don't want to be late and I'm almost finished. So I'll catch up with you guys later. All right guys, makeup is all done. So I decided to keep it a little simple. I, did, I didn't do the red lip after all, but let me show you guys my outfit. So I wanted to keep the outfit pretty, kind of classy and elegant because I feel like the place that we're going to is a French bakery and um, French, not bakery, uh, pastry spot and it's in the post oak hotel so i wanted to keep it you know kind of kind of classy and feminine and elegant so i have this top from h m i bought it last summer um this is actually like my second time wearing it and i was just looking for something to match with this pleated skirt and this was the perfect color combo i'm so happy it all worked out it does have um i don't know if you guys can see it does have like the strap um, crisscross straps on the back and then I need to get some nipple pads because I didn't wear a bra and I just hope that it's not too cold in there um, so this is the top and the skirt is also from H&M it's a recent buy um, because I don't have a cream skirt like this and I really wanted one I love a pleated skirt in springtime I think it's so se sexy it's, I think it's so elegant so I'm wearing that and then I have these new Zara sandals they're so cute guys 
Um, I was stalking the website because they said my size was sold out. I will say the back slips off. It doesn't have an elastic band. So that's the thing that stinks about these. But I have these shoe insoles that are put in here to give me a little bit more comfort and cushion so that the back doesn't slide off too much. It's helping a little bit, but I don't know. I, that's the only drawback about these. I did get these in a size 6. And then I wanted to wear something to match and I wanted a little bit of color because my outfit is so neutral and so cream so I'm wearing my Teddy Blake bag and I have this scarf from this brand called Nava Paris I don't know if they're still around um, but I bought this beautiful scarf from them last year I have another one as well it's orange but I figured the pink would be a, a nice touch because it kind of matches with the bag and it matches the shoes give a little nice little pop of color nice little elegant look so that's what my outfit is looking like today and then I decided to wear the Gucci Bloom fragrance because I'm feeling very spring so yeah I'm gonna head out now like I said I probably won't vlog too much um, I probably won't vlog at all but if I do I'll insert some pictures and clips of what I'm able to capture and I will see you guys later today hey guys back from my little um coffee date i had a great time um meeting my new potentially new friend we um had some coffee cappuccinos and some pastries and we like just chatted got to know one another it was great i had a good time so we're thinking we'll link up soon again it was a nice nice little time and then it's so funny i was leaving uh, i was waiting for valet to uh i was waiting for the valet and I saw like this group of women all dressed in pink and it looked like it was a birthday and lo and behold a new friend that I am meeting next week she was going in there it's her birthday and she's having a birthday lunch there a birthday dinner there or maybe like early lunch and they're all dressed in pink I was like what a small world I think my camera's dirty I was like, what a small world. I was like, girl, I hope you have a great birthday. I'll see you next week. Maybe we can celebrate a little bit. Um, so that was so cool. I was like, huh, what are the odds that, you know, we're hanging out next week and I run into her after I'm done meeting a new friend. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, she looks so cute today. She had on this like pink two-piece set um, with the rough, not ruffles, with the feathers um, on the sleeve and ankle. It was really cute. So I was like, ah, small world. Um, so right now, um, I might just head to the market to maybe like H-E-B or, or Trader Joe's. I don't know. I don't like going to the grocery store on the weekends because I feel like it's always hectic. But I need to get a few things to make dinner tonight or to make lunch because I wanted to make the salmon bowl but oh my god people don't know how to drive Sheesh. but I'm gonna head home first because I want to get some comfy shoes on and I don't know I kind of feel like going somewhere like I'm already dressed up I look cute and I'm like should I go somewhere and get lunch um so i don't know yet but i'm gonna head home now and just uh put some stuff away i did just leave the post office because i shipped my silkades to the buyer hopefully she gets it by like monday or two maybe probably tuesday or so she might get it um because i did priority shipping that's basically it like i have no plans like this this weekend and lately just life it's just been vibes like I haven't been planning anything it's more just like going with the flow and same with my Instagram feed I feel like my Instagram feed is less curated I mean it's a little curated because obviously like I'll like make sure the pictures look good next to one another but there's no like planning behind it it's more just like vibes because I enjoy it that way like I don't want to feel pressured to post i just want to just create and kind of just share like what's happening and it's been fun that way I've, I've genuinely been enjoying that so i did just post a picture from my stripe striped outfit last night because um i ended up uh, finding a picture that i felt like worked 
so I posted that and then yeah I'm just gonna just gonna chill when I head home um, and figure out what I'm gonna do maybe I'll do something later I don't know yet but yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys. I didn't record because, you know, it's the hotel and they're kind of strict about that. And also, like, I just wanted to enjoy the moment. I didn't want to, um, I didn't want this to be a content creation meetup. I really wanted to get a chance to know her and vice versa. And we did take some pictures because, you know, it was more like we look good we wanted some pictures which is fine like I think that is like it reminds me of when I used to post on Instagram just for fun where it was like I was hanging out with friends or people were in the moment and it'd be like you know what we look good let's snap a photo let's snap a cute little video and that was it it's not like oh my god we need content and I've been enjoying um, creating content that way where it's I'm enjoying the moment, but I will take a couple photos and, and videos and stuff and not just feel like the entire time has to be work because that's the thing when you're when you're doing um, content creation, social media influencing is that sometimes everyday activities or even events just feel like work all the time. So it's good to find that happy medium and I think I have so yeah. As you guys can see, I'm very chatty lately, but I've been loving it. So I will catch up with you guys later when I figure out what I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, talk to you guys later. Um, uh, what's her name? Armani mixed it last time. What did she mix it with? The same, but I didn't realize really? she mixed it. I thought it was Great ebony, ebony so wood. I don't know why. I just was like, Ebony Woods, of course, because I just love that right now. I think now. they probably have similar notes. And I was like, let's do it with Born. Because I was going to do it with YSL, and I said, no, YSL is more of a fall, Winter. darker. Mm. I was like, I want to be light today. I got on my lime green set. I was like, let me be light. Yeah, I, I like, like that combo. That? You got to try it. I told you. Because I, I remember you said that. Ebony Wood by itself wasn't good on you. So yeah, it was too light. Maybe like, if you mix it. I don't have it right now, but yeah. maybe I'll get it. How you been? Good, you know, pop with my little pops of color. I've it's been cute. Fun. Really cute. This outfit just came out of nowhere, and I was like, this little little it's thing is cute. cute. I just need to get better at making the twilly, like how oh, yeah. I wrap it properly. It's cute. I was like, okay. I usually do mine like inter like around because my coach forty tote the black one I have. Yeah. I have a coach twilly, a black and white. Striped Twilly, so I, I I just learned off YouTube. I was just like, oh, let me yeah, practice, I'll have to practice next time. Oh, I we got a home goods, TJ Maxx, Old Navy, Target, yeah. Bath Body Works. We got it all here. I use all the time. Oh, you like it? This is pink Himalayan sea salt. Good. Yeah, that's what I normally use for cooking. guys so we just got back um we didn't really find anything so we decided to come back to get something to eat and a little drink because you know it's a beautiful day today beautiful so we're headed to moxie's hoping we get a seat because it looks like a full house in there um so yeah we will have a little nice little drink i brought the shoes back out so i brought some other shoes some more comfy ones but now we brought the the shoes back out guys can we just have a little moment for these shoes and this bag i'm so i love it i, I love these so much it's such a great buy 
nice little little pop of color little flowy dress <laughs> it's a vibe outfit y'all like come on get into it and it's flowy it's so cute she is always cute y'all <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so Justin and I came to um, DSW and I just found these really cute sandals. So we just left DSW. I'll show you guys what I got. I did get these sunnies here. They're so cute. They're not my designers yet, but I thought they were cute. We're headed to Sephora now. Sephora. I told Justin to wait for the Sephora VIB sale, but we're just yeah. gonna kind of like sample some fragrances. Yes. And I'm gonna see like if they have what I want, what's kind of in my cart right now. So okay. some fun little Sephora. Let's go. back home <laughs> what a day um, Justin and I went a little bit shopping I got some shoes from DSW um, I think I showed you like some clips of, of me trying them on but I did get three pairs this pair here this is from JLo I thought this was really cute with the gold detail um, I also got this black one here this is more like a cute little casual shoe. And then I got this nude one as well um, from Mark Fisher. This is similar to the black one. So just some comfy, cute shoes. And I also had their like um, coupon because I'm part of the rewards. So I ended up getting $60 off those, which was a really good deal. So I got that. They wouldn't let me vlog in Sephora for some reason, so I didn't really vlog in Sephora. And then I picked up some stuff from Target. It was just a patio cushion because I messed up the other one that I had. So it's currently seven. Um, I think I'm pretty much just gonna like clean the apartment, chill. I don't know if I'm gonna make that salmon tuna for dinner. I mean the salmon bowl for dinner anymore because it's already seven and I'm tired and I don't have all the ingredients. So I'm kind of just gonna keep it chill for the rest of the night. So I don't know if I'll end up vlogging tomorrow. So if I don't, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching this little short little weekend vlog with me. I hope you guys enjoy it, hope you guys have fun. Um, and if I do vlog tomorrow, you'll see that clip here. If not, thank you so much. I'll see you beauties in my next video. Bye. <laughs>